US roads are currently not in their best condition. There is a growing number of complaints from drivers being received by road services and it's increasingly common to encounter people on the side of the road trying to figure out how to fit a spare tire or use a car jack. Despite this, the world rankings are still quite favorable to American roads, placing them 17th globally. Countries like Qatar, Luxembourg, Taiwan, Denmark and Croatia rank higher. The top spots for road quality currently go to Singapore, the Netherlands and Switzerland. An interesting point when looking at the top 20 countries for road quality is that the US has the highest percentage of concrete highways. Why do the states predominantly use concrete for road construction? What are the pros and cons of this approach? Let's start with the advantages. Concrete roads can last longer, with construction companies often quoting a lifespan of 30 years. Importantly, concrete roads are not sensitive to heavy loads. In most countries that used asphalt highways, there are strict weight limits for vehicles, especially during the summer, when asphalt can heat up and deform. Concrete is less affected by climate conditions, making it suitable for using both desert environments in cold northern states. Of course, these benefits of concrete roads are only possible if construction technologies are followed precisely. There are also several disadvantages to this type of road surface. For instance, the cost of building one mile of concrete highway is on average 20 to 30 percent higher than building a mile of asphalt road. This is not just due to more expensive materials, but also the more complex technology, which requires a higher quality foundation and cost equipment. The second issue with concrete roads is the high complexity of partial and routine repairs. The only way to repair such a road is to replace a large segment. This process requires closing all related traffic lanes for an extended period and using a large concrete paver. Therefore, fixing a small pothole can cost several hundred thousand dollars, with a significant portion of the expenses going towards equipment delivery and managing altered traffic patterns. Asphalt roads are easier to repair. Emergency pothole repairs or replacement of small sections of the road surface of virtually any size are possible. It's estimated that about 60% of the US road network is made of concrete. Today this presents a huge problem. The country simply doesn't have enough companies ready to service such a large number of relatively old roads. Gradually, concrete highways built 20 or 30 years ago are beginning to deteriorate and require major repairs, while asphalt allows for intermediate repairs like removing the top layer and laying a new one, concrete requires complete dismounting and renewal of the road surface. Therefore, the cost of maintaining such a road network is enormous and the United States is currently going through a rather difficult period. New roads are increasingly being built with asphalt, replacing old concrete surfaces. The government continues to increase spending on roads and today the US road network can rightfully be called a mega project. Annually at least 200 billion dollars are spent on the construction and maintenance of roads. Every American taxpayer contributes over $620 every year to the road network's upkeep. The problem is that the cost of constructing one mile of road increases each year. In one of my previous videos I mentioned that on average the mile of an interstate highway costs Americans 10 million dollars. What's the way out of the situation? Good roads are motivators for the economy. They simplify and speed up the delivery of goods. So there are no alternatives other than to approach repair work sensibly and build long-lasting high-quality highways. And unfortunately, this is something each of us will have to pay for.